Hello and welcome to this new exciting tutorial where we are going to make this burning vibrant fire with simple yet powerful steps and without the help of any complex physics method. So let's dive in. Here in my blender I have the full scene, the full composition, the elements, the materials and it's an anger vibes. So let's start by making this fireball. Here in a new blender file, I'm going to select all and delete everything, move to front view, and change render engine to cycles, GPU compute, color management to standard, film to transparent, and this sampling will be reduced to achieve much faster results. Now I'm going to start by adding an icosphere. I'm going to subdivide like to 4. Then I'm going to reduce the size. Move it and in the edit mode, top view, I'm going to select this exact middle point. Turn on proportional editing, make it sharp and move it on the Z. Now in the modifiers, I will add a displace modifier. I'm going to hit a new texture, coordinates, follow object, and I'm going to add an empty object for that matter, and move it a little bit down. And I'm going to select this and select this object since this object will control the burning fire. Now moving to texture, I will choose marble and I will make the size like 0.4 and reduce the strength to like 0.15. Now if I move this null, it will affect the fire. So I'm going to add a keyframe right here in the start of it all and then at the end I'm going to make it like 12. Select both and interpolation mode to linear since I don't want any easing. It's a little bit fast so I'm going to make this 8. Change to linear again. It's going good, but let's slow it a little bit down to like 7. I'm going to add a subdivision surface, increase to 2. Moving now to shading, I'm going to add a new, delete the principal BSDF and I'm going to start by adding a radiant texture for the main object connected to a color ramp then connected to the surface control T to bring the mapping and texture coordinate switch to object and I'm going to make it like negative 90 and the scale to like 0.2. Move this. I'm going to start add some colors. I will change everything to ease. And now I'm going to add an emission. Increase strength to 2. Now for the outer ring, I'm going to duplicate everything here. And connect them instead to see what's going on. Remove this 
and I'm going to make it only two colors. So I'm going to select this one, delete this one, delete, and we'll switch both. And make this a little orange. And we'll bump the strength to four. Now I'm going to connect both. So I'm going to hit mix shader. This one right here and this one is right here. So to let the mix shader decide where to view the base and where to view the outer ring, I'm going to add a layer weight node. I'm going to add a color ramp and another color ramp. Then I'm going to connect this to power, math power, and then to this. Then I'm going to connect it again to another math power and connect it to this one. But I want to mix this, so I'm going to add a mix color node just right here. Now I'm going to make this change this value to one and this value to like 2.2. .2. Now to mix both, I'm going to add a mix color this to A and this to B, and I'm going to test everything. So first I'm going to narrow this thing right here, and let's increase the factor all the way up, and I'm going to change the blending mode to color dutch. So right now I can't, if you're happy with the results, I can't link this to the factor and then to the surface. Let's change some values. Cool. Now hit back to layout to make the fire move now. I'm going to add an armature, single bone, move to viewport display always in front, and go into edit mode. I'm going to select this and move it all the way out. Now I'm going to subdivide many time, just like that. And moving to pose mode now, I'm going to start add a damn track. So the simplest way to do this is to select like this bone, then this one, then command shift C and do a damp track and so on. The top bone, then the one below it, then control shift C, damp track again, and so on. Now I'm going to go right here and we'll add a rotation on the Z, it's going to start from zero, 
and move like three frames. It's going to be five. Move a few frames. Going to be zero again. Going. Move some frames. It's going to be negative five. And get back to zero again to make a perfect loop. Then select linear. And in the graph circuit two, I'm going to add a cycle modifier. And just like that, nothing is happening. And why is that? Because we need to reduce the influence. So let's make it like 0.9. Copy. And start by pasting that value in every damn track constraint. Let's reduce it to like 0 0.7. So play with the influence until you get that desired look you want. Then I'm going to head back to object mode and select the fireball with the armature, then parent with automatic weights. Now the fire is dancing as expected. I'm going now to add the particle effect. So I'm going to start by adding an icosphere. I'm going to Reduce this, scale it, and move it aside, since this one is going to be our main particle object. Then I'm going to add a plane, scale it down, move it down, and in the particles I'm going to add a new. First thing I want to do is that I want the particle to be going up, so I'm going to field weights and gravity to zero. And that will make them up instead of down. I'm going to make the number 500 life randomness all the way up. The velocity is going to be like 0.65. And the Rinda is going to be an object, and I'm going to change it to this icosphere. I'm going to hide the meta, and in physics, I'm going to forces and make this five. We have a nice particle going around, yet it's white. So I'm going to select this and add a new material. Now I'm going to give it the same. And going back here, I'm going to increase the size, the scale of the object to be like this. Too much. Right now in the compositor, I can add some glow effects to make a glare, which to always. Since we don't have any camera, I'm going to add a bloom effect and I will reduce it, reduce the strength, you have to select the plane, go to particle and in the render remove show emitter 
and in the viewport display show a meta so right now we have this cool blowy vibrant fireball and what you can do is to select all of that i'm going since this one is contained the icosphere i'm going to make it contain everything so i'm going to leave this icosphere here and i'm going to make the particle and the empty which is controlling the fire and the speed of it a children of the same armature so i'm going to make object set parent to object keep transform and right now what i can do is when i select the armature everything is going to move with it the null and the plane which is the particle emitter and what i can do next is to move this like over here now what i can do is to select everything then duplicate and everything will go just fine this one is controlling the whole set of here and this one is controlling here yep the animation is so similar so to change that i'm going to close mode for this one and just play around with the influence so i don't want this to be that dancey so i'm going to select this increase it to like 0.8 and I'm copy and now here is the difference between both this one is slow and moving only from the up and this one is dancing you can always go into influence and change whenever you want you can select again all of these and duplicate another instance and i can select this into pose mode and reverse the rotation to be in the opposite and move it right here so it's now moving in the opposite direction of this a lot of controls under your disposal so that's it for this tutorial hope you enjoyed it thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one